Hello again, this is Mr. V. Hill, and today we're talking about simplifying, of course, algebraic expressions using the division properties of exponents. So the first property we're going to talk about is what is called the quotient to a power rule. And it's very similar to the product to a power rule. It's essentially just the distributive property, but for exponents. So if we have a quotient, say a over b, I'm going to raise that to the power of m. Effectively what happens is the exponent gets distributed to both the numerator and the denominator. So this would become a to the power of m over b to the power of m. And again, it's nothing magic, nothing to memorize. If you forget how this works, just work through a simple example, like say x over y to the power of 3. This is of course just x over y times x over y times x over y. And of course when we're multiplying fractions together we just multiply the numerators together and the denominators together. So this becomes x times x times x over y times y times y. Which is of course, well, x times x times x is x cubed. And y times y times y is y cubed. So yeah. What happens is this exponent here gets sent in to both the numerator and the denominator. Not a big deal. And of course this will also work for negative exponents. Suppose we have x over y to the power of negative 3. Well, the negative sign in the exponent tells us to take the reciprocal of the base. So this would be y over 3, excuse me, y over x sorry, to the power of 3, which is of course just y over x times y over x times y over x, or y times y times y over x times x times x, which is of course y cubed over x cubed. But if we think about this, like let's see what would happen if we did just distribute that exponent in x over y to the negative 3. We send in this exponent of negative 3. So according to this rule, it's x to the power of negative 3 over y to the power of negative 3, which would be, of course, again, the negative exponent takes us to, tells us to take the reciprocal of the base. So this would be 1 over x cubed divided by 1 over y cubed. Or dividing by something the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, 1 over x cubed times the reciprocal of this would be y cubed over 1, which is of course y cubed over x cubed. Same thing. So whether you want to think about it in this respect of first taking the reciprocal of the base or thinking about it as distributing in the exponent to the quotient, you end up with the same thing. Not a big deal. The next property is called the quotient rule. And it's analogous to the product rule that we talked about last time. And so if we have a quotient of two exponential expressions using the same base, say a to the m divided by a to the n, well what happens there is we take a, but we raise it to the power of m minus n. Remember with the product rule we added the two exponents together. Here since we're dividing we're going to subtract the two exponents. And again, same thing, it's not magic. Say we have x to the fifth over x cubed. Well, that's simply x times x times x times x times x over x times x times x. And these three factors of x on bottom will cancel with three factors of x on top, leaving us with just x squared. And yeah, notice 5 minus 3 is, of course, equal to 2. But 
just to show you this also works with negative exponents x to the fifth over x to the power of negative three now let's see what happens here well that'd be x to the fifth over one over x cubed using the definition of a negative exponent which is of course now dividing by this would be the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal so this is x to the fifth times x cubed over one which is of course well we don't need this dividing by one so x to the fifth times x cubed well of course there's the product rule that's going to be x to the power of eight and five minus a negative three is of course positive eight but it works even if the negative exponent is in the numerator as well if you said say x to the negative three over x to the fifth well that's now one over x cubed that's our numerator divided by x to the fifth and of course dividing by something the same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal so this would be one over x cubed times the reciprocal of x to the fifth which is one over x to the fifth multiplying these together of course this is one over x cubed times x to the fifth and again product rule now being applied in the denominator one over x to the eighth and negative three minus five is of course eight or negative eight but of course we don't want to write anything with a negative exponent to simplify we need positive exponents so we write it as one over x to the eighth instead of x to the negative eight and so really if you want to think about it in a weird way it's kind of a shortcut here a negative exponent in the denominator ends up becoming a positive exponent in the numerator or a negative exponent in the numerator ends up becoming a positive exponent in the denominator a little shortcut there if once you understand this well enough you just start thinking about it in those terms and so now I'm just going to leave you with a couple of practice problems for you to try.